All right, we're going to catch up with Cooksbrook, Nova Scotia's very own. We got uh, Hannah Cole here. Hannah, we haven't actually done this before, so I'm looking forward to having a little quick chat with you. You just came off the uh, off the track here at Dominios for your final moto. Talk about the week here in the motocross. How did it go for you? Um, it's been going pretty awesome so far. Um, I had a couple good, really solid motos. Um, I went in the Super Mini 1 class just to kind of give it a shot. Um, I didn't end up making it to the main, but it was a lot more track time and rode with faster people, so it's definitely going to make me faster. Nice. What do you think of this track? I mean, how many times have you been here? What's, uh, what's your history here? Um, this is actually my first time ever All coming right. here, so um, it was definitely a new experience. Um, track was rough. It was, it was the roughest track I've ever ridden, but um, <laughs> it, was, it was technical, and I am just kind of got used to it, and it was actually, I really liked it. Now, there, this is uh, officially now the biggest motocross event in the world. What was it like uh, during the week, at night, in the pits and stuff like that? How was that? Um, I was definitely something that I have never experienced before. <laughs> it was like the most people I've ever seen in one spot before, but it was a pretty awesome event to get to experience. All right, now you race the girls, 11 to 16, and the women's class. What uh, Talk about how they all went for you. How did you do? Um, the women's class, I finished 20th in my main event. Um, I was really shooting for a top 20, so I kind of just cracked the, the top there. But um, it was definitely, um, it was difficult. All the girls are pretty much on bigger bikes, so it was something that I had to kind of just kind of not think about and just go out there and run my own race. Um, the girls class went way better than I expected. I got off to really good starts every moto. Um, I was working really hard on that with uh, Brad at Club 57 for the last week oh, or so. Brad. So um, that really helps me out a lot. And there's some stiff competition out there, but I finished uh, eighth in my qualifier. So that was definitely gave me a boost going into the mains. Right, and then you just had that one there. I think you were your eighth again, I believe, and you had to pressure all over you. There's a big gap ahead of you to the next group, but uh, man, you had to uh, you had to work for that. Yeah, there was a lot of pressure coming on me from the girl behind me, and she did end up getting me on the last lap there, but there was another girl that had gone down, so I did gain another position, but I definitely had to work for it. All right, now is this an event that's on your uh, must-do list from here on in? It's, uh, it's quite the event. Yeah, it definitely is. What's, uh, what's next for you? Um, after this, I think we're going to head home for a little bit and then I'm hoping to be back in a few weeks and do some more training and then I think we'll be back and forth a bit um, over the winter. Uh, that's great. Well, I'm always, uh, people are always telling me from the East Coast, I've got to uh, get, uh, get, get to meet you and have a little chat with you. So I appreciate you taking the time to do this with us. Yeah. Congratulations on hitting your first Minios. Man, this, uh, I've been coming here for years and this one, man, it just keeps the level, just keeps going up and up and up. And uh, yeah, riding a super mini against those big bikes in the women's class on the bigger wheels on this track is uh, definitely a disadvantage. But uh, congratulations on, uh, on having a great week. And who would you like to thank, Hannah? Um, I want to thank my mom and dad for getting me here. Um, my brother, he's back home, so we are definitely missing him. Him right now um, all my family back home that's supporting me um, factory connection FMF Hinson um, moto seat um, pro cycle and just everybody back home it, I really appreciate it all right well hey thank you very much for chatting with us safe travels and uh, hopefully we'll talk to you soon thank you